Hello, everybody. It's Kawan and Lindsay Harrison from Greenville, South Carolina. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the personal website that Isogenics gives us. It's free. Uh, it's another tool in the uh, toolbox. And uh, people go and shop online all the time. They use Target. They use Walmart, eBay, Amazon, you know, a plethora of websites out there that, you know, they use to shop online. It's nothing new. Uh, we noticed that, like I said, that people – the associates don't use the website because they're afraid for some, for some odd reason. And Lindsay and I like to use it because it leverages our time. Uh, it takes about 10, 15 minutes, and we are getting notifications through our text messages that somebody has, has uh, enrolled um, from our website versus being on the telephone for an hour, hour and a half. So today we're going to show you how to get your website and everything set up um, to make sure, you know, there are, go there are not going to be any reservations about, you know, social security numbers or auto ships from enrollees. Uh, we don't have that uh, because the website is personal um, and private. So um, Lindsay's going to take it away, and we're glad to have you. Hey, guys. Okay, first, it's some easy steps here, and it's fairly, like I said, I'm going to go through these first few fairly quickly. But again, just log into your back office, and under resources, you'll see a link or an icon, manage my website. It's underlined there in red. You'll see on the, the slide. Just click on that. And then the second step is basically you're going to want to choose customize your page. We're wanting to make this as personal as possible. If you choose the default options, um, obviously it's not going to be personal. It's just going to be what Isogenics has set up. It's not going to have your picture. It's going to have someone else's picture. and It's acceptable. It's fine, but the whole purpose of this is to still make it as personal as we can since we're kind of taking the off we were taking it off you know off the phone and uh, losing that personal bit personability of it so so go ahead and customize your page and then from there your steps three this is where you're going to choose your website name so you'll see right there in the the top yellow circle I have circled there team Harrison type in whatever you want you know your website to be called um, I don't know if, if it's just a one team one man show you could put your name, whatever it is, make it something easy for you to remember and for them to remember. Um, the website will tell you if it's available, and if it is available, it's gonna appear in the uh, top part there in the blue, ours is teamharrison.isogenics.com. That is what you're gonna send people, that link right there is what you'll send people that will direct you to your enrollee site, okay? So again, just pick something that's not too crazy and that's easy to remember and that's uh, personal. Go ahead and fill in all your information there, your personal information, your name, telephone number, email. We went ahead and picked an email or we set up an email just for Isogenics purposes only, so not to get it confused with our personal emails. We downloaded a picture, again, all back to the personal personalization of the site. And then your price points at the very bottom, you'll see it circled with a star. This is very, very important. Make sure that is turned off, okay? This is not a shopping website. This is not the first time they'll be seeing these prices, so you want that turned off. The last thing you want is for them to click on something they see is cheaper and think, oh, you know what, instead of the 30-day, let me just try the nine-day cleanse because they see it's cheaper. This is, you know, you don't want any price points on there. When they get to this point in the game, they already know what they're getting and they know how much it costs, okay? So just go ahead and take the price points right off. Step four, this is your contact me page. This is really only in the event if someone stumbles upon your site because it is going to be on the web. So if they happen to stumble upon it, someone that, you know, that you haven't even given it to, um, and they want to either have more, get them for more information or, you know, talk to you about your products. This is basically the little paragraph they're going to see um, and that they can get their information to you. Again, we just choose the default content. Um, Isogenics has already provided a great little description. Why reinvent the wheel? Why go through writing your own thing? Um, they already provide a great compliant paragraph, so just go with it. If you do choose custom content, just understand that it takes – few business days, they'll probably say three to five, but um, in our experience, it's taken longer to approve through compliance. So just understand that it will take longer to get it approved. As far as setting up your start page, again, we chose the default content. It's, they've written a great little paragraph. It's like an introduction to yourself. Um, and so why not use it? They've already done it. Um, again, just let me reiterate, if you do choose custom content, it will take a while to be approved by compliance. As far as these three very important points, just make sure all these three are pressed to on on this next um, option. Your top navigation you want on, and I'll show you that here in a minute, but just make sure it is on. That's where your products pull down menu and so on are gonna be located. Your bottom navigation where it has the customer service number, it has the record recorded chat option. 
you want to make sure that's available as well. And your lead form, that's where if someone wants to contact you and ask about your products or whatever, you want that to be on. If it's turned off, it's not even on the page and they really have no way to contact you other than call you. <clears throat> Step seven, basically this is choosing your videos and your header. Um, Isogenics gives you, you know, a, quite a plethora of selection to choose from. So you would just pull down the pull down bar there. Um, and we chose Experience Isogenics. You can choose whatever you want, whatever your market, you know, appeals to. Uh, for us, we just chose Experience Isogenics. You have many to choose from. And then as far as the three videos below, again, you can't pull up, you can't just download your own videos. You have to choose from the selection they give you. But there's pretty much one for everything. So... We chose Isogenics Difference, Experience Isogenics, and Are You Toxic? If you're in the start group, you may want to choose Start Your Life. If you're an athlete, you may want to choose Team Isogenics as one of them. You know, Healthy Aging, the Healthy Aging video, if you're a baby booner or if you, you market to baby booners, it, whatever you want to choose, you can choose three of the videos that they provide, and then you'll see them over here to the right. They're listed to the right. Again, the top to the bottom is the way it's going to appear on your page. So the, whichever one is on top, for example, in ours, it's the isogenics difference. That is the one that's going to appear in video format on your page. The other two will appear more in a link format below it. So in order to rearrange them, you would literally just click, drag, and sort them. You can sort them any way you want, but however they appear on this screen, and when you save it, is how they're going to appear on your site. Um, same thing goes for picking your products, okay? You're allowed to pick three products to feature on your page. It does not mean that they can only purchase these three products. These are just the three products that are featured on your main page, okay? Um, go through and pick out the three that you want. For us, we chose the 30-day system, the weight loss president's pack, and the business builder. Again, drag and drop whatever order you want them in. We tend to sell more 30 days than anything, so we put that one on the top. Um, that's totally up to you. Your bottom navigation there at the bottom, that's what I was talking about in the last slide or two ago. Basically just has the customer service, the recorder chat, and, and so on. So it is good to have on there. And then make sure you save, okay, because you're at the end of setting up your website. So save your work for sure. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and review what it looks like. So now that you're done, again, make sure you save all your work. And just remember... If you choose to customize your wording versus the default paragraph that they provide, that this is going to take several days for compliance to approve your submittal. So in our, in fact, we chose it to say instead of I, we chose it to say we since we work together. And I think it took like seven to 10 days for it to get approved. And so we just, we bailed out and went back to default. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. This is how your website is going to appear, okay? This is basically just the top half because I couldn't fit the whole thing on a slide. Um, but basically, as you see, that top, that culture, products, people, all that in the green bar at the top, that's your top navigation. So you definitely want to be sure that that's there, okay? Um, and there's a very important reason I'll show you here in the next coming slide. Um, there's your header, Experience Isogenics. Again, you choose whatever you want to choose out of the selections that they provide. My, out of the 30-day, or sorry, the three products we choose, 30-day system is on our top list, but again, whatever you choose, whatever you, you tend to market to, that, that's totally up to you. This is the video I was telling you about. Isogenics Difference was our number one video. It appears in video format, okay? So whatever video you want to appear focused on your page, that's the one you want right there to be. It's going to be the top of your list, okay? The second part of your slide, or, or not slide, I'm sorry, the page, you'll see the second bottom half. You'll see the other two videos appear right below it there. They're going to appear in like video for, or in sort of like, I guess, link format. So that's why you want to put whatever video is most important to you, have it listed at the top. And then there's our personal information and how to contact us and so on. As far as this is the, the top navigation bar I was telling you is very important because if they ever do want to add something on other than those three products or if they want to purchase something that is not the three products that is listed on your main page, this is where they have to come. And you just direct them to it. Just say make sure you go to the products pull down. And it's just the same as in your back office. Um, as if you were shopping in your back office. Everything is located in here. Again, there's no price points. But then you would just, for example, if they wanted a pay setter or if they wanted a healthy and aging, you know, president's pack, you would just indicate that they go to the products pull down, go to the healthy aging solutions or, and show them where to go. But that's how they shop for other things or add-ons. If it's been our, you know, um, practice that if someone has too many add-ons or if they kind of customize their own, you know, their own pack, we just go ahead and take it to the telephone. It becomes too difficult if they have too many things to add on and they're trying to find stuff. Um, that's just a, you know, a call you're going to have to make. 
But if they're going too much outside of packs, the, the, especially even for us, the three main packs, we just generally take it to the telephone um, and explain to them that, you know, there's quite a few little options here and add-ons. I don't want you to get confused on the site. So that's, again, a call you're going to make. It's, this is very important um, as far as a lot of people have, you know, questions. How do I know which leg it's going to? Is it going to my left or my right leg? And because you don't necessarily, obviously, the person that's signing up doesn't choose. So it's a very easy fix. All you do is you go to your back office and you go to my account. And once you click on my account, you go to placement and compensation and you press edit. When you press edit, you're going to be given three options in the pull down menu. You're going to be given minor volume team, left sales team, and right sales team. Most people would choose minor volume team because, of course, that's what you're wanting to build in order to cycle and you have less BV on that side. However, there are certain situations, for example, if you're wanting to rank to consultant and you have someone on your left, you need the next person to go on your right, then you would want to come in and manually put, click right and save before anyone signs up. Again, that's just something that you, know, you either get used to doing or you just leave it on the minor volume team. Okay? The default is going to be minor volume. Um, so again, if you're wanting to build a certain leg and you want everyone to go to that leg, then you come and save it for that leg. That's just something you want to make sure you do prior to them signing up. And again, just be sure to save your work because if you don't save, it's going to go ahead and default to, to the minor volume team. These are very important things that you need to remember with in regards to this website. Um, this personal website that Isagenix provides you, this is for enrolling purposes only. Okay, this is like we like to say this is the cash register. They've already done their shopping, they already know the prices, they've already pretty much know exactly what it's gonna cost them. They're just now coming to pay. So that is something that, you know, do keep that in mind. Um, that this should not be the first time that they see prices or that they, you know, wondering what kind of package. This is for enrolling checkout purposes only. Be sure to educate, communicate, and discuss all products and the costs prior to giving out this link, okay? Again, no questions should be coming at this point of, you know, how much something costs or anything. Only give this site to an interested party when they are 100% ready to begin their journey and order these products. If a new associate comes up and asks, how can I sign up, I'm ready, your general follow-up question should be, have you decided what pack is best suited for your goals based on what we have gone over? Okay, at this point, you've gone over everything with them. You've decided with them kind of what pack would be best for them, and they've said yes or no, and you've already gone over the prices right down to taxes and shipping. There should be no surprises at this point, okay? So once they have said, yes, I'm ready to order, you give them two options all the time, okay? Make sure you always give them two options. You can say we can do this one of two ways. We can set up a time to call and we can, I can personally enroll you on the phone or I can give you our personal website and you can enroll yourself. Which would you prefer? Nine times out of 10, they're gonna, prove, or they're gonna uh, pick the website. Again, only forward this website link to a new associate if they indicate that this is their preferred way to sign up. Don't ever push this on someone. Don't ever give them that this is their only option. Always give them those two options. Put the ball back in their court and let them decide. People love to have that control back in their court, and that's, you know, it's for privacy concerns and so on. So if, if, they, have, if they show any kind of hesitation when we ask that question, um, then we just take it to the phone. It's just that simple. It's not that serious. This is to leverage your time, but it's also not to be lazy. Um, we had a lady that signed up a while back. I think she's in her 60s, and she's not very, you know, she doesn't know much about how to buy and shop online and so on, and we kind of sensed her hesitation. So we said, you know what, let me just call you. I'm going to make this easier for you. And as long as you're fine with going over everything, because we didn't know her real well to be going over credit cards and stuff. And she was fine with that. So, you know, make a personal call at that time. Um, don't push this on anyone by any means. <clears throat> when you give someone your website link, always, 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 I cannot stress this enough, attach these four steps, okay? And I literally, both Quan and I have this saved in our phone as a JPEG. You can either type it up on your own or you can save it yourself, but you know, always when you send them the link, send them these four steps at the exact same time, and then tell them. I always warn them, I said, when you're going through the site, it's very easy, just make sure it's, you know, it's imperative that you follow those four steps, and then you'll, it'll be easy and it'll be seamless. The four steps are basically to press the green sign and save button, not the buy now, because buy now is the retail price. Say yes to auto ship, so you're guaranteed the best prices. You can cancel and or change at any time. So you reassure them that this isn't, you know, once they're in, they're in forever. 
tell them that they need to make sure to at least put one item in auto ship, okay, when it prompts them to set it up. This enables you to bypass this feature. Again, they can change it or cancel it any time within the 30 days. And this is an important one here. After they enter in their credit card information, make sure that they realize that they're not done at that point, that they have to wait until they get an associate ID and an order confirmation, which comes after setting up the auto ship, okay? So just kind of prepare them that it, it, they're setting up the auto ship after they've already done it. might almost seem that they're buying it twice, but they're not, okay? So they're buying their product, they're setting up their auto ship, then they're confirming their order. They are not done until they get that ID and that confirmation order number. Follow up. This is important too. Once I ever, every time we give them our link and the four guidelines, we always reassure them that we're here if you need us. Text or call if you have any questions whatsoever. Don't just you know throw it at them and let them figure it out on their own. Reassure them that you're there, that you're just basically giving them this for privacy reasons and, and they can do it in their own time, but you're there when they need them. Never forward the link without the four guidelines, ever, ever, ever. And we always, again, we always reiterate how important those four guidelines are so that way they at least have guidance as they're going through it and they're not just lost. Do not, and this is imperative, do not, these three points, um, it is imperative that you use this personal website only as an option to enroll people online. You're leveraging your valuable time. This is never to be given out or really even discussed prior to them saying, I'm ready. How can I go ahead and sign up? Do not give it out to shop around, okay, because it'll only confuse people more. There's no prices. There's not much as far as education goes. That is all done before. So, yes, it's leveraging your time, but it doesn't necessarily make your job easier per se. You're going over all the packages. You're doing all your personalization and talking with them prior to giving them this website. So this is only to be used for checkout purposes only. If in the very beginning they ask, do you have a website, we always just say, no, we don't, but we actually have an amazing private Facebook product or team page on Facebook. Would you mind if we added you to that? And they always say that's fine. Um, let the product page do its work. That's what it's there for. It's excellent. This is purely, like we'll always say this is the cash register. This is for checkout purposes only. So guys, that basically kind of wraps up setting up your web page and um, when to use it, when not to use it. Um, just be, just do all, you know, do your due diligence beforehand, before giving this out. Make sure you go over everything with them. Make sure they're comfortable with it and that they understand. And then just reassure them that you're there for questions. Um, we've had no instances, no problems with this at all. Um, we love using it and it does save, especially for people that work full time with kids at home and are trying to leverage their time. It really is a time saver. So use it, utilize it. It's there for us. And it's an amazing, uh, amazing product from Isogenics. And just remember, guys, that, you know, your time is valuable. Uh, it's very, very valuable. Uh, there's nothing better than, you know, sitting on the couch and watching a movie with your family and you getting a text saying that, you know, Jim Bob and, you know, Sally Joe has just enrolled from your website. And you did absolutely nothing but send the site and send those four steps that we mentioned uh, earlier. There's nothing better than that. Just remember that your time is valuable and uh, just utilize this site, like we said, please. Have a good night, and thanks for, for listening to us. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, guys. Um, I think we've covered it all. We try to be as thorough as we could, and we try to cover everything that we kind of saw popped up. If you notice anything or have any questions, do not hesitate. Thank you, guys, and have a good night.